Hey guys, the Retrieval Augmented Generation RAG has been the savior for our AI applications in helping us tackle or reduce the hallucinating behavior of our large language models so that our AI applications can basically generate contextually relevant responses for any user query. But we need to understand one thing that RAG is not a silver bullet for everything, okay? Because retrieval accuracy remains a significant hurdle still, right? So we know that uh, these answers generated by the RAG pipeline are contextually relevant, but to what extent? We don't know that. So to overcome some of these uh, challenges of RAG, it's very essential to establish a comprehensive uh, evaluation framework or a tool and uh, engage uh, in a thorough experimentation to basically fine tune the RAG parameters and achieve optimal performance. So today's video is all about um, uh, evaluating uh, a RAG pipeline using this framework known as uh, RAGAS. Hey guys, so what is RAGAS? Uh, RAGAS is a specialized evaluation framework uh, designed to basically uh, access the performance of our uh, retrieval augmented generation systems. Uh, it provides uh, a structured approach uh, to evaluate the effectiveness of uh, the RAG implementations by leveraging uh, the advanced LLMs. So basically, LLMs are used as uh, judges here, right? So because, you know, using LLMs uh, such as GPT-4, GPT-40, uh, uh, GPT-3.5 Turbo um, uh, for evaluation has, has gained uh, traction uh, recently. And, and yeah, it, it, it is basically due to their ability to access uh, various uh, aspects of retrieval quality, um, including relevance and uh, precision and faithfulness. So, um, and uh, according to Raga's uh, documentation, your uh, RAG uh, pipeline evaluation will need four data points. Uh, basically, uh, they are like the question, uh, context, uh, answer, and the uh, the ground truth answer. So, uh, question is the question asked by the user, and context is basically the text chunks from your data that best match the question's meaning, and uh, answer is basically generated uh, answer from your uh, rag chatbot to the to the user query or question and ground to truth answer is the expected answer to the question so depending on these four data points ragas will basically evaluate the answer relevancy uh, the faithfulness context recall and uh, context precision right and the answer correctness and also we're going to see this practically in our uh, tutorial okay hey guys so here is a simple rag evaluation pipeline uh, as you can see, uh, the user uploading the data, it can be structured, unstructured data, which gets split uh, into small chunks using LangChain framework. If you don't know what is LangChain, LangChain is basically an open source AI framework to build your LLM pod applications. And then the mm, embeddings are generated. Okay, Once the user uploads the data, it gets split uh, into small chunks. And these small chunks are assigned with a numerical number and that's what we call vector embeddings and uh, that's how vector embeddings are created using an embedding model and all these vector embeddings are stored in a vector database okay and now we also have a q and a question answer data set that we have prepared uh, and uh, we also have the llm here generating the answer or a response for any user query okay so what we're going to do is we're going to basically compare the ground truth answers, what the actual answers or responses should be, and also the answer or the responses generated by the LLM using this whole RAG setup. And using the RAGAS framework, we're going we're gonna to basically test the faithfulness, context relevancy, answer relevancy, and context recall. Uh, and we're going to see the relevance, uh, overall relevance report. So we're going to do this step by step using uh, in our um, tutorial. OK, so let's do that. Hey, okay, guys, so here is the complete tutorial on RAG evaluation uh, with RAGAS. So we also saw what is RAGAS. RAGAS is an open source uh, framework that helps developers evaluate and test uh, LLM applications, uh, particularly uh, RAG pipelines. So RAGAS basically uses LLMs to measure key performance metrics. 
so here is my complete notebook code. I'm going to share the link uh, to my code in the video description or in the comments so that you can go through and basically try um, and see how uh, you can evaluate your rag pipeline using Ragas. So the prerequisites are Ragas and Langsmith. So Langsmith uh, is a DevOps platform that helps developers and data scientists build, test, deploy, and monitor uh, LLM applications. So uh, first things first, we're going to install both um, Langsmith and Ragas. We're also using OpenAI because we need to mention the um, LLM. So, and then uh, next, we're going to basically um, mention our Langchain uh, API key and OpenAI API key. And then we're going to clone a data set to use because we need to know the, uh, we need to have a data set here, uh, basically to uh, to know the ground truth answers. Okay. Um, so, we are importing Lang uh, Langsmith and the data set URL, it's a de uh, default from uh, Langsmith. Uh, Langsmith uh, has this uh, data set named uh, Basecamp QA. So uh, we are cloning the data set and then we are defining uh, the pipeline basically. Okay, the URL is this. We are basically fetching the source uh, documents. Uh, and uh, next, we are creating the retriever uh, and we are mentioning the model. The model is the text embedding three small and uh, um, we are basically doing a similarity search here uh, with uh, finding the top K, uh, top K contextually, contextually relevant uh, response chunk. And, uh, uh, and also like how we do in a uh, EI agent, right? We are basically assigning a role like uh, content. You are a helpful EI assistant. Uh, use the following docs to help answer the user's question. So that's what we are doing. And uh, there is answer and there is context. And once uh, you run that, uh, you're gonna get, uh, like basically the, the, the PDF or the, uh, the file we are using uh, here, it has, it is some, something related to the human resource. So that's why the question is like, uh, where is the question? So how much time off do we get? So uh, the answer is like, based on the information provided in the benefits and perks document, here is a summary of the time of blah, blah, blah. So next, let's uh, run the uh, evaluation pipeline. So once you run that, uh, you can basically go to this uh, particular link and uh, one more link is provided with all the test data set. You can actually see here, right? So the this is the um, um, test name and you can actually see the input, the reference output, and uh, you can also see the uh, context correctness, answer relevancy, uh, context precision, context recall, faithfulness uh, for this particular uh, output. So this is, yeah, yeah, the same thing. I mean, this, uh, once you run uh, the uh, evaluation, uh, Raga's evaluation, uh, this is what uh, you're gonna get, the, these two links. Uh, this is a uh, view, uh, view the evaluation results for the project. This is the project name. Uh, and then the view all the tests for data set uh, base camp QA. So this is the base camp QA. As you can see, the answer correctness, answer relevancy. So once you click there, you're going to get this particular input, um, our project name. Um, how does can we help with security and dev something? So the the reference output is this, and uh, the uh, please uh, this is what the uh, the output from our chatbot is. This should be the output, the ground truth uh, output. This should be the output, but. Our output uh, is this from the chatbot. And for that, the context, uh, the answer correctness is this, answer relevancy is 0.98, and the context precision precision is one, context recall is one, and faithfulness is uh, 0.85. So what you see input uh, here is the uh, user query, and the reference output is what should be, what actually should be the ground uh, truth answer. So these are all answers for the particular question. If this is the question, this should be the answer. So 
this is what our chatbot is giving us the answer as okay so for that what is the answer correctness uh, answer relevancy context precision and then context recall faithfulness so you can basically change uh, this uh, particular uh, url uh, add your own source documents and then actually see how the what is the context correctness answer relevancy and all that but for that you need to also have a um, qa data set ready right so yeah this is how you can actually um, evaluate your rag uh, pipeline using ragas uh, i'm going to share the link of uh, link of this notebook code in the description so that you can just go to and basically try to see what is the answer correctness relevancy context precision context recall and faithfulness of the answers generated by your uh, chatbot right thanks